Yo, yo, yo! This is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. Your highest team's called Grunt. And this is Pokemon Masters EX. Guys, this week is chock full of events and everything like that. Later, we'll have our full force battles. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my Legendary Arena Zelf. Full for, I mean, a self challenge part 3 beginner friendly video. I saw in Twitter that someone found my method and tweaked it a bit. Instead of using Professor Oak, that person went for Clement. Why Clement? Because Clement has Mud Slap, lowers the target's accuracy. So instead of just lowering the target's attack, special attack and speed with Janine. With Venom Drench, you're also lowering the target's accuracy. And I found this interesting, but at the same time, I found that this is not beginner friendly enough because Clement is one of the newest thing pairs in that. You probably will not have Clement yet, but I'm gonna give this a go. And by the way, there's another thing pair that has Mud Slap. And that is, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's ground type Hapu. I tried Hapu. Hapu dies very quickly, so nope, not gonna bring out Hapu here. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's another one that can lower accuracy. That is. This guy, um, Holiday Seabold. But unfortunately, Holiday Seabold, probably a lot of people don't have Holiday Seabold. So we're also going to ignore this totally, completely ignore this. And um, some Sync Bears have skills that will lower the opponent's, you know, accuracy as well. I I think this is on Serena Sync Red. It's Bedazzle 1, lowers accuracy, if I'm not mistaken. And again, we're going to ignore this. I'm gonna use Clement to try and demonstrate this. I tried earlier, it didn't work for me, but who knows? Maybe it will work this time. So same thing, try to poison the opponent in the first turn. Use Venom Drench, use Mud Slap. Razor Leaf, Venom Drench, Mud Slap. Has to be Poison. If not Poison, we restart. So we restart, guys. By the way, my Clement is at 1 out of 5. I assume, I'll assume that if some of you have Clement, it's around the same level. Just to make this as beginner friendly as possible. But if you have Clement at 3 out of 5, this might be a different story for you. So Razor Leaf, Venom Drench, Mud Slap. What? You missed? Guys, the, fir the most important thing is the first thing. This setup, guys. Don't worry about Hypnosis, Sleep Powder, not activating. Think about this first. Think of the present instead of thinking of the future. One problem at a time, guys. So Razor Leaf, Venom Drench, Mud Slap. Make this work first. Again, no poison. Venom Drench will not trigger. Restart. I'll demonstrate this method together or alongside Muse method. Choose your option. So here we go. Razor Leaf, Venom Drench, Mud Slap. Activate will increase your evasion, but we are trying to lower down the opponent's stats right now. Got hit. Critical hit too.
I'm going to use Potion on Clement because this is gonna damage him very badly. And again, just use that, use Venom Drench, or, you know what, I'm gonna use Venom Drench. Go. I'll use Sync Move later. I'm just gonna try and lower down the opponent's stats more and more first because opponent's gonna use a sting move. From here, I think I can use a sting move first. The more the opponent's speed is lowered, is that it? The more it powers up moves. Okay, Clement has to survive this. Earlier, he would not survive a sync move, but we'll see now. Oh, he survived now. Very good. Light up the world, Thunderbolt. Okay, let's try to continue this. Give this a fair chance of proving itself. Flamethrower might kill Clement though. It's gonna kill Clement. Ah, he's dead. We can lower down this opponent's defense and special defenses yet though. So I'm not gonna stop here. Gonna continue. And guys, once again, choose your method. If this works for you, awesome. Same throw is gonna kill me. Oh, Venom Drench did not work anymore, guys. That means your job is done. Your job is done. And it missed. How could it miss? Frankly speaking, I'm not satisfied about how high the opponent's HP still is. And we're dead. And the opponent's not yet half of his HP. But you know what? I want to continue this. So again, bring out Ramos or Agatha or Serena. I'm bringing out Serena to lower down the opponent's accuracy even more. Since this is not exactly a beginner-friendly method anyway. And then, um, Skyla as usual, and then, you know what, I was thinking yesterday, instead of Torkoal, instead of Flannery and Torkoal for Impervious, Noland. Never mind. I think someone has Impervious as well. I guess Noland is not one of them, but never mind, let's just go back to Flannery. Flannery. Wait, we're totally gonna go together, right? Back to my beginner friendly version. You can count Fire flying. I should still be asleep right now. Still haven't slept enough. A 
Okay, guys. I'm gonna use... Well, he cannot fall asleep right now. Not fall asleep. He's still poisoned. This is too slow. You need to recover. Not fall asleep yet. We need a potion MP refresh. That's it. Okay, now he can fall asleep. But that's worthless. Recover. Out. Make sure the opponent does not get burned. And yes, you might need a tiny bit of luck in order to trigger hypnosis. Not too much. No, we can actually use a sync move using Delphox. But I'm gonna keep using Flannery just to prove my point. I saw someone pull off a zero HP dam, zero damage run of this and this that's like I was like I can't do that you're crazy the timing of the hypnosis must be super perfect in order for you to do that I think he's using Ramos got a pretty, pretty popular video yesterday. Okay, I think that would destroy, that will remove that bar of HP now. For the second bar, hypnosis hopefully will work because he's gonna use Swift. Awesome. Oh no, he got burned! Oh no. Our moves will become a bit stronger. Skyla, please survive that. I'm still using Hypnosis because the sync move might cut off his HP to half. And if it does, Hypnosis will work again. That's it. Awesome. That's it. Hypnosis is the key here. You 
You don't want to burn the opponent. I think we can pull this off somewhat. Oh boy. Should we use potion? Yes, we should. Ah, he's still alive. Sad. Don't worry too much about uh, Torkoal. Very tanky, guys. Oh, why didn't you die? Oh no. Don't have potion anymore. Please finish that bar of HP. Awesome. Critical hit next. We're safe from critical hits because of vigilance. Will this kill you? I don't think so. Almost there. Ah! Okay, guys, we won. But if you have seen, if you have seen, if you have watched carefully, you will notice that the opponent has rarely missed any hit. So I don't think lowering the opponent's stats, lowering the opponent's accuracy is actually helpful here. So yeah, that was a quick demonstration of what you can do with this method, guys. It's very consistent and you can win not really with ease. But you can win consistently using this beginner-friendly method or this Janine Venom Drench method. Let me try again, this time with Mew, just to again prove my point that using Mew will probably be easier than using Clement because most of you will probably again not have Clement. And again, Cygnus Suit Leaf over here. Like I'm going to bring out Grass Type, Psychic Type. Actually, Special Attack can be Psychic. Can be Psychic as well. So again, guys. This is using Mew. Compare it for yourselves, which one you want better, and just apply it on your games. Again, we want to Toxic, we want to poison the opponent first on the very first attack. Venom Drench, a world of dreams. If he doesn't get poisoned, we restart. The good thing about Mew is that he has first aid and that you don't need to immediately use potion on him because he'll recover on his own. So again, Razor Leaf, Venom Drench, World of Dreams. What? So that's the f that's probably going to be the most irritating part of this method, guys. Poisoning the opponent in the first turn. If you're using Koga or any other Sing Pair, this might be a bit frustrating. Leaf's uh, passive skill makes this not too frustrating. A bit more act a bit more uh, high chance of. Deadly poisoning, badly poisoning, although you need a couple of tries, like what I'm doing right now. Ooh. 
Razor Leaf Venom Drencher World of Dreams. Come on, get poison. Oh man! Come on, Toxtricity is complaining why the opponent doesn't want to get poisoned. Toxtricity is watching from behind me. Razor Leaf Venom Drench, a world of dreams. If you want to give yourself some torture, you can go for Evasiveness plus 3 on a world of dreams. Or special defense plus 3, or defense plus 3. Depends how lucky you are. After poisoning the opponent, Mega Healing, Venom Drench. We can go for another World of Dreams, or just Swift. Yes, special defense plus 3. That is good. After Mega Healing, just go for Razor Leaf, or Potion. Or not yet potion. We have special defense plus three anyway. Awesome! Us awesome. special defense plus six now. Hey, that's pretty awesome. And that proves my point why you want Mew instead of you know someone else. I saw some some people pull off crazy sync nukes on Mew as well. My Mew is not optimized for that. Let's just see how things go. Psychic impact is is a physical move if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna keep using Venom Drench, Venom Drench. Oh, that's so slow. I think I'll use move. Oh my gosh, that's painful. Oh, you just missed. Increase my speed. Just don't get burned. Lower the opponent's stats. Lower it even more. Lower, lower down. Let's, let's recover ourselves. Keep using Venom Drench. Keep using Swift. Keep using probably a sync move using Signisuit Leaf. I don't know. Okay, Venom Drench not working now. We can use some other attack move like the wind, probably. And by the way, you can also lower the opponent's accuracy using Swift. So that also works. You're also increasing your own evasiveness. And a Mega Evolved uh, Cygnus Suit Leaf will not be able to poison the opponent. So don't worry about double poisoning him. Then headbutt though. It's a physical attack. Ah! Strong. That's gonna kill me. That's gonna kill Mew. That might kill uh, Janine as well. That's gonna be very painful for Signisuit Leaf. But we have done enough damage, guys. And again, don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. See if this works. And if you have finished this stage already, you know, try it again with some different sync pairs. It's fun. 
It's fun. While we're still waiting for full force battle, if you see this before full force battle, try it out, guys. Now, I think his special defense will not go lower anymore. So the opponent's stats is very, very low right now. Very low special defense, very low um, attack, special attack speed. This will be easy. So um, again, bring out Flannery. I suggest Flannery, I highly suggest her. Uh, if you don't have Flannery at 2 out of 5, I am hoping that we get a tech, a 3 star tech move candy later. I have no idea what the rewards are, but you need a 3 star tech move candy to bring her up to 2 out of 5. Unless you have been playing for the longest time and you will get the power up or the, the item required to level her up in exchange items in the past. So, here we go. Um, again, I'm going to use Serena. You can always count on me. If you don't have Serena, again, you can go for Ramos or Agatha. If you have Troublemaker on any of them, use the one with Troublemaker because that will save you a lot of troubles. Yes. I forgot to bring out Flannery. Wait, we're totally gonna go together, right? Skyla over here. You can count on me. Skyla is the best, guys. She's a much better tanker. I saw some people um, use what you call it, uh, Clang. Janine, but again, we want to make this as beginner friendly as possible. Everyone has Skyla. Everyone is Flannery. Not everyone is Serena. Not everyone is Signe Suit Leaf, but you have your choices. You have Koga, guys. X Special Attack Hypnosis takes flight. I can use Fire Spin or Can't Stop Us. I'll use Fire Spin. Another Take Flight. If that doesn't trigger an MP Refresh, no need for that. I'm just going to use it non-stop until it depletes completely. This is too slow for me. Speed things up. Oh, that's worthless. Should I use a potion? Um, probably just to be sure. Physical attack, our defenses are up. Oh, you missed. I'm just gonna use take flight non-stop guys as I was saying earlier why did why is my order like this this is not the order I want to play in should be the other way around too late though it should be left, middle, right, left, middle, right. It, it became the opposite.
Going to recover. Oh, I hope this kills you. I don't want to deal with a sync move right now. Serena might die. Awesome, thank you for dying. Recover Serena. Fire spin. Crazy MP refreshes. That's just awesome. Oh no, he got burned! Oh well. Just try to kill off his HP as much as possible right now. Once he reaches half, he'll have himself recovered. Uh oh. Uh oh. I should probably not have used Fire Spin. Hypnosis, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Are you half HP right now? I think so. Or not? Almost? Yes, half HP. Now you're not burned. Oh wait, are you burned? Are you still... Awesome. That's what I wanted, guys. Oh my gosh, the order became different again. I'm confused. Now it's left, middle, right. Accidents happen. I hope I'm making sense in these beginner-friendly versions or these videos I'm making, guys. Just tell me if you're confused. But my point is that using Mew is better than using Clement. That's just my point. But whatever works for you guys. If Clement works, then use Clement. If Mew works, then use Mew. If Viola works, use Viola. Because Viola has worked for me the first time I used Viola. I think we can deplete his HP before he uses a sync move. Yes, we can, guys. We can. Prepare Hypnosis. Would I want to recover? I will probably not recover right now. Kind of semi-lucky with the MP refreshes as well. If we want, we can burn him right now, guys. But I'm gonna stick with my Hypnosis method. Just to be safe. We can also use Fire Spin. I'll keep using Hypnosis just to be safe. Recover some HP since we have more than enough potions. Sync move. Okay, that should kill him. If it's not yet dead, well, that's fine. Use another potion. Is he dead? Skip. Is he dead? Not yet. Damn you. You won't last. Oh my gosh. That's a 2 MP refresh thing that triggered. 
Can we win with the full HP? We'll see. No, we can't. Sadly, we got damage. Very high HP, though. Let's watch this together. Oh, you're still alive! Let's watch the falling of us all together. What the heck just happened? Three moves missed. And that's like a 100% accuracy move. That's it. Azelf is dead. Guys, again, hope you found this helpful. And hope this video helped. Give this a thumbs up. I'll see you with full force battles later. Good luck. Rawr.